talking about Autodesk Inventor, it is like, uh, it actually, the software has been released by Autodesk, uh, which is being uh, considered as a primary uh, software developer for design engineering tools. Uh, the first kind of design engineering tool which we all get to know about was AutoCAD, and AutoCAD itself was actually a product by Autodesk. And Inventor, actually talking about Inventor, Inventor is an advanced version, advanced 3D modeling and uh, analysis and uh, calculation uh, kind of tool, which is being released by Autodesk in perspective of an advanced techniques uh, uh, and solving the real kind of advanced kind of engineering problems which we encounter today. So, so introduction is like, okay, um, every physical product we see on real life actually that every engineering product from like uh, a, a, every small thing like a microchip to a an aircraft it's been designed by a design engineer okay so the first thing is been starting from uh, concept designing and uh, maybe prototype designing and going with the real one uh, then the uh, i like I told, the yeah, first kind of um, design engineering tool uh, which uh, the Autodesk uh, re released was AutoCAD and, the, and its initial release was happened in 1982. And Autodesk Inventor actually, uh, the first version of which has been released in 1991. It released as an advanced version of AutoCAD and uh, people are now quite commonly adapted to the inventor uh, rather than AutoCAD in these days. So uh, talking about current trends in the field, it's like uh, uh, I told you like AutoCAD was the initial design software and given solutions primarily in two dimensional things. Uh, and as we progress, uh, more complex engineering these things evolved and uh, uh, 3D software is actually came to the scenario. That's why uh, uh, even software developers uh, and companies like uh, Dassault Systems or uh, Autodesk thought about having an advanced uh, software for crafting these design engineering uh, problems. And that's why they came up with an advanced one and that is Autodesk Inventor. For designing engineering calculations, particular software which concentrated on the analysis pattern available now. So like uh, still the industrial transformation are still going on from 2D to 3D, which means that uh, uh, companies actually started using AutoCAD and which was actually primarily focused on uh, uh, solving two dimensional engineering problems. And uh, as, we, uh, as we can see, uh, we have progressed into a modern era and uh, we are handling advanced technologies, automations, kind of things. So um, uh, people have adapted to that and, but still the uh, 2D to 3D, the companies actually uh, still going on with the transformation, still they are progressing with the transformation. Uh, like maybe in the 10 years and even now also, um, people are still adapting from 2D to 3D technology according to the company. Maybe like an advanced company might be adapted to a 3D environment maybe 20 years back or 30 years back. But like a, a small or medium scale company is actually that adapt, adaptations from 2D to 3D are still going on. Now things are getting automated and we look for more and more automation and which avoids human errors. So talking about uh, state of art in the field. So consider the case of an aircraft, for example, an Airbus A380, uh, which is considered to be uh, like one of the, uh, um, uh, a huge machine kind of say, uh, like, and it has an approximate 4 million parts in which around two and a half million uh, parts will be unique. Two and a half million parts will be unique means uh, that needs to be generated independently. Uh, it will be having 
uh, independent part numbers, and that's been uh, it might be it is uh, and it, it is estimated that around thousand five hundred companies work to the, together to create the concept design R and D concept modeling manufacture and assemble all these things. So it's a step by step progress. So it will be having electronic items. It might be having mechanical components. It will be having uh, electrical components, electronic components, mechatronic components, everything together. So everything together, it will be constituted about 4 million parts. And the two and a half million parts will be unique. It, it meant to say that the two and a half million parts will be initially will be designed by a design engineer. That's what where the, the uh, idea of design engineering and uh, uh, the importance of it came to the scenario and the R&D work also, like the research and development work uh, done by any kind of firm uh, all over the world. It, it will be supported by uh, or done with the help of a design engineer. And it comes along with the concept of design engineering. The team of design engineers design and test everything which uh, needs to make it to, uh, one, make it to a real scenario for an aircraft thing, if, if I would say. So uh, leading um, software solution providers uh, in this field are TCS, Infosys, HCL, Tech Mahindra, and uh, L&D, etc. This is actually not limited. It's like if you are uh, sorting about the um, each and every um, domain, I would say there are thousands or ten thousands of companies might be there, but which are available to us and. Uh, which are most common uh, are only I have listed here. And leading hardware solution providers are like General Electric, Dow Chemicals, Caterpillar, Siemens, Mercedes, Ford, Boeing, Bosch, etc. So each one of these companies actually, uh, some of them are conglomerates, like General Electric is a conglomerate, Dow Chemicals actually, um, uh, dealing about uh, uh, around 10 or 12 uh, industry divisions and Caterpillar, I would say, they are mainly focusing on heavy machineries. Siemens in the sense, actually, uh, they are uh, um, dealing with the electronic items and they have, um, uh, like, uh, they, they were having water treatment items, chemical processing items, and measures in, in the sense, actually, they are uh, primarily focusing on to automotive sector. Ford, even Ford also is on automotive sector. Boeing is actually an aircraft sector. Bosch actually, it's like um, uh, everything. Like uh, Bosch is having uh, automotive port parts, aircraft parts, uh, like all kinds of parts. Which, and into software things also, Bosch is there. So coming to the technicality in the field, Autodesk Inventor, Solworks, Creo, NX, AutoCAD, so Revit, Solred, these are some of the most common design softwares currently in use in the field. And these are actually design softwares which we use to create something. And ANSYS, Autodesk, Robo Structural Analysis, SACS, Autodesk Inventor Professional are some of the most common software for design analysis. Actually, what, what, if you say the uh, difference means a design engineering tool actually used to create things. Like I would say, creating from a scratch. If, uh, if we require to model a chair in the sense, for example, uh, we can cre create in the, from, from the scratch. But if we need to check whether it will be, uh, uh, it can be, uh, it will be survive the loads which, will, which has been acting, on, acting upon it on a real scenario. For that, we require a design analysis tool. So that is a di difference between uh, a design engineer tool and a design analysis tool. And moreover, rather than the design software going deep into the uh, particular domains like aerospace, transportation, machinery, plant engineering, etc., adds more technicality to this field. So rather than this design softwares, we will be working on some particular domains, maybe. Uh, aerospace, transportation, something like that. So 
uh, on each of these technical domains, we used to have uh, more and more technical knowledge or we will be gathering more technical knowledge as we progress through the years in our professional. So uh, talking about job roles in entry level means like, so on entry level, you will be absorbed to the position of engineer trainee, design engineer, junior engineer, etc. And your day-to-day uh, -day activities will include uh, designing the parts and assemblies with the help of an existing uh, documents and customer's requirements. So you will be, you will get to know more about the design software and the technical knowledge about the domain during this time. So typical experience for this range just from uh, zero to five years. When you progress into a senior level, so on senior level, you will be absorbed to the position of senior engineer, senior design engineer, tech lead, team lead, project lead, etc. And your day-to-day -day activities will include project estimate, tracking the status of project, holding client meetings, tracking the design changes, mentoring your team and juniors, etc. So on this time, uh, is the um, like you will be spending more and more time with the clients and their requirements and uh, 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 changes you wanted to do and you will be mentoring your, um, uh, your juniors. Uh, so you, your head, like, you will be involved in half of the things, half of your total time in an office, like in a project management stuff and technical things also. This actually, I, I would say this is a crucial period. And um, you, you, as I said, you will be spending 50% of your time in this period for project management stuff and rest in technical things. So typical experience for this ranges from five to 10 years. And coming to job roles in top management, on senior level, you will be absorbed to the position of project manager, program manager, delivery manager, etc. And your day-to-day -day activities will include checking the status of each project, tracking the performance of the team, holding senior management level uh, meetings, etc. cetera. Uh, you, so you will be spending 100% of your time in this period for project management stuff. Typical experience for this ranges from 10 to 30 years. So I, I, I did say like uh, on senior level, you were having more interaction with the clients. So client will be a third party company for which we might be working on or uh, uh, for to which we will be selling our equipments. So you will be having exposure to um, dealing with more and more customers, their requirements, things like that. On senior level, if you're progressing to senior level, uh, you will be focusing on your team, your company. It means that you will be tracking, you tracking the uh, performance, total performance and the project status, how things are going, is something is going wrong, is, some, is everything is progressing good, how well the team contributes to the company, firm, etc. So you will be uh, focusing on this actually on senior level. And on junior level, I, I would say like, uh, you will get to know the de technical things more. You will get to know the design software more. You will, be, you will get to know the um, um, particularity of the domain you have been absorbed to. So those things actually you will be, you will be having exposure in the junior levels. And yesterday actually, this is actually like a, um, a water treatment equipment, uh, which we have uh, designed, uh, designed for the purpose of uh, water, uh, water purifiers actually. I would say this, these are like industrial water purifiers. Uh, uh, talking about this is actually like, a, uh, its name is UFI 60 ultra filter industrial, it means. And 60, 60 means there are 60 uh, modules are there. So you can see that on either side, there are two skids are there, uh, which is being done the process of uh, filtering the water. Uh, and the center one, which is actually a manifold skid, uh, it, it actually um, um, passes the water through these membranes. So this water will be actually a highly high pressure, high, highly pressurized water, which will be um, uh, like almost like injecting through these uh, membranes 
and due to the pressure which uh, we are injecting through it it will come out with a pu uh, purified water and the pu impurities will be staying inside the filter so uh, this is actually we designed and uh, this is actually done for a customer called evoqua water technologies which is actually a, uh, a, a top one of the top five water treatment companies in the us and talking about how to get into this domain uh, like attending markings of my most common software and hardware solution providers applying through job sites like now clean linkedin uh, checking online on the respective companies career page for their updates searching jobs through college seniors and their references mm -hmm.